escaping the glory of coming out of what I was going through, just coming out that hole that I was in. There were some hard times, like, it was big times of trials and tribulations, you know. And I felt like God came to me and talked to me one day, and he was like, you know what, just go back to all the people that you felt that you did wrong to and just apologize to. shifts and you know constantly on the job but God word come first you know right, right, yeah. you know and I, and I was determined to get this message together you know um I don't want to boast or brag too much but you know the God I serve is a good God yes, he is. Yes, he's a mighty God yes, he is. as a child you know growing up in the church I was thankful you know, my father, both my mother, once I told them that I was going to be delivering the message this Sunday, they both said, you know, I remember when you were in the backyard preaching, uh -huh. and, and, and then they went on to say when certain Caesar was a child, and she began preaching, uh -huh. and, and the sister came in and told mom, and said, Shirley's still outside, playing yeah. around. Yeah. And she went outside and said, no, Shirley ain't playing around no more. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. gave me the word. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. 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 From having a family that's deep and rooted in the Word of God, from my from my grandfather who is the great man of God who who began Faith Gospel Temple, yes. to both of my grandmothers yes. who are women of God, yes. Yes. and done and have done evangelical work for yes. God, yes. to my auntie Aniwani and my uncle Apostle Melvin and Lawrence Price yes. and their wives. Yes. And my father. Yes. As a child, I've, I've been surrounded by strong women and men of God. Yes. At a young age, I knew I was covered by the blood of Jesus. Yes, sir. Growing in the, growing in the Word of God, I could see God moving in my life. Mm -hmm. 
in other people's life as well. Yes. When times got rough in my life, I simply caught myself and began to lean on God. Yes. Why I had to had no doubt in my mind that He was going to heal the situation. Yes. Yeah. Well, today I have a testimony. Uh, you know, as I've been venturing off in the journey of life. Yes. You know, to find myself as a young man. You yes. Know, to 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 build my foundation. You know. You know, the God I serve. You know, when you tend to to. To, to not seek him and pray, pray, pray like you're supposed to pray. He'll catch you and he, he'll take everything away yeah. to build you back up, you know. And I began going off to this adventure of life and I began to see everything that I, that I worked for and slipped them away from my apartment and my car. And I had to simply come back home to my father. So I had to take everything to be a positive, you know, and I began to seek God more, come to Sunday school, yes. and learn God's word, yes. for that I knew that he could work things out, yes, I'm glad to say that when I first moved back home, it took a week and a half and I found a job, I got a job, my old job, you know, uh -huh. and, yeah. it, and it gave me more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not only that, when I first walked in the building, you know, my, my, my buddy called me up. And he said, you know, they have a job fair there, you know. Um, go there and, and have the, the, the resume and everything in hand. And I didn't have I didn't, I didn't have a resume set up for me yet. And I just went, I just went on God, you know. And I went in there, and they called me straight to the back. And, and, and the CEO was like, you coming back? And I said, yes, sir. He said, he wants you back. Right. And before I left that day, they gave me the, the, the papers from, from Human Resources, and they said I was hot. See, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank God for my companion, Cheyenne. Yeah. 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 For, you know, she told me, she said, I said, so I am, you know, I'm a strong woman of God. She said, I'm willing to be that. Shia King, King, Savannah, she said she wanted to start it with her own hands, you know. Amen. And the God was working, she was able to find a job and we can have as I did, you know. Amen. Amen. You know, and, and I continue to see God growing and dividing in her life and how much she's growing in the Word of God. Yes. It's all right, brother. Today I want to start my sermon off by saying we are only human and we make mistakes. But that's no excuse. And excuses won't get you into heaven. I think on selfishness, it all starts with selfishness. And selfishness, selfishness leads to sin. Right. Selfishness is, de, is defined lacking consideration for others, including God, right. concerned chiefly with one's own personal profit and pleasures. Okay. As a child and as a teenager and sometimes as a adult, I always wanted to hear the things in the Bible that were more appealing and pleasant with less rules and commandments to abide by. Okay. You know? I was simply trying to find the easy route possible myself in, in these worldly ways as I, as I picked up along the way going through my adventurous journey we call life. Yeah. Today, saints, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. The only way you can get into heaven is to abide by the word of God. All right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. So true. Everybody wants to make it in heaven. Yeah. And it's all simple. <laughs> Let me break it down to you. Come on. As children, we find out yeah. right is right and wrong is wrong. Yeah. As, children, we, as children of God, we find out that God wants us to be righteous. Yeah, right. Nine times out of ten, doing wrong is a sin. Amen. Doing wrong feels wrong. Amen. And doing right feels a big time better. Yes. Yes. James 4, chapter and 17, verse uh -huh. says, so, so whoever knows that the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is a sin. Yeah, that's right. We all fall short at times or, or two because we are only human. And humans make mistakes. 
And that's no excuse. No excuse is when we get to heaven. The typical sinner thinks, I can repent. We can repent each time we pray for doing the same sin or sins after sin. But too many sins makes us alright. We sin because we are only selfish. Lack of consideration for God. But for but our God we serve is a jealous God. Amen. And we do and, and he does not tolerate selfishness. The only way we can overcome sin is by being righteous and doing good things. Yeah. Romans 12, chapter 21 verse. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Yeah. Nowadays our youth are easily attracted to the worldly ways of sin. It's, it's in the music more. It's on television and on the internet. Romans the second chapter, six to the eighth verse. He will render to every man according to his deeds or works. To them who be by patience and well doing seek for glory and honor, immortality, he will give eternal life. But those who are self seeking and do not obey the truth and obey the unrighteousness, there will be a wrath of hurt. Short term meaning hell. Yes. When I was a child, and even now as an adult, being a Christian, unrighteous folks could see that I was righteous. And they could and they would try to peer pressure me into doing into the wrong things. And try to get me to sin with them. At an early age I was determined to get to, to not to not get exposed to the worldly ways of sin. For well, I knew it was easy to get in, in, into and hard to give up or get out. Although I'm not perfect and I'm only human and I make make mistakes. But I won't let no excuses get me, keep me from heaven. First John, the third chapter, the seventh verse. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous. As he is righteous. Mm -hmm. As a Christian, I begin to think out of the box and out of the spectrum. When this is over and there is no more self, and I become nothing more than a soul, and I leave this world behind to get the approval of my Lord and Savior. Today I've grown to learn that God wants a disciplined worshiper. Uh, being, a dis being disciplined makes you strong and never weak. Second Chronicles 15, chapter 7, verse. But you take courage. Do not let your hand be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Apostle Lawrence Christ, your work will be rewarded. Auntie, your work will be rewarded. The ones who Work for God yes. will be rewarded. Yes. The ones who save souls yes. will be rewarded. Yes. God is also merciful of those who don't put in work. Yes. Titus third chapter seven verse to the seventh verse remind reminded them to be submissive to rulers and authorities. Yes. To be obedient, to be ready for every good work. Every to speak evil of no one. Yes. To avoid quarreling. To be gentle and show perfect courtesy towards all people. For we are ourselves, we're, we're once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to the very fashion of pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God and, and our Savior appeared, He saved us. Not by works, done by the righteousness, but according to his mercy, yes. by the washing of regeneration and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Our God is so merciful that he sacrificed his son yes. for our sins. Yes. John 3rd chapter 16 to 17 verse 1. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that he, whoever believes in him, should not perish, but have eternal life. Yes. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Yeah. Meaning we need to be disciplined and unselfish and be more like Jesus. Right. Galatians, the fifth chapter, the 22nd to the 23rd verse. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, yeah. 
joy, joy, peace, peace patience, 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 kindness, kindness goodness, goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness gentleness, yes. and self-control. Yes. Not selfishness. But self-control means discipline. Uh -huh. Against such things there is no law. Meaning this is how God wants us to be. Yes. This is how we can be more like Jesus. Yes. In my conclusion, uh -huh. I want to leave you with some Bible scriptures to look at and study. Okay. Psalms 119 chapter in the 36th verse. Uh -huh. Turn my heart towards your stature and not towards selfish gain. <laughs> Proverbs 18 chapter in the first verse. Uh -huh. An unfriendly man pursues selfish ends. He defies all sound of judgment. Mm. Romans <coughs> chapter first and second verse. We who are strong are to be to bear with the falling failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should, should please his neighbor for his good yeah. to build him up. Yeah. Last but not least, and one of my favorites, and one that I feel I still need work on, when I feel like I have given all given all to others. Yeah. First Corinthians, thirteen chapters, four through six verse. Love is patient. Yes, it is. Love is kind. Uh -huh. It does not envy. Uh -huh. It does not boast. It doesn't. It is not proud. It is rude. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easy anger. It keeps us re record. It, 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 does not, it does not keep a record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Saints today, on earth, we are only human. We make mistakes, and that is not an excuse. But excuses will not get us into heaven. But being righteous and abiding by the word of God, we continue to continue my strength in the Lord, that I will have his victory in the